Um, all right. So speaking of magic and, and Jordan and bird and some of those guys, I have a submission still at PSA. And I think this is good and bad. Um, the good news is I'm going to share my screen, uh, with you right now so that those of you watching can see this. But again, if you're just listening on the podcast version, don't worry. So the good, there's a couple pieces of good news. One piece of good news is my 178 total items that I submitted to PSA were at the $12 per card submission. So oh my, gosh. my total in investment here is going to put me in a situation where I should be able to make a profit on each and every one of these cards. That um, is awesome. The other piece, <laughs> thank you. I'm very excited about it. The other, the other piece of good news is that, yep, $12 a card. And I think, you know, like you had to be a PSA member. So like my membership, I think was like $70 a year or something like that. So I think it's, you know, that's, that kind of doesn't really matter when you're submitting 178 cards at $12 a card. So anyway, that's my total cost really of this, of this investment, because these are all cards, maybe except for a few of them that are mine from when I was a kid. So, um, that's the other piece of good news. The other piece of good news is that essentially these are all the following players, Michael Jordan, Barry Sanders, Magic Johnson, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, there's some Scottie Pippen rookies. There's some Larry Bird. There's some Gary Payton, Carl Malone, uh, Dennis Rodman, Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of these are rookies. I submitted the Mark Jackson 1990 hoops with the, with the Menendez brothers. Um, I love that. I don't know why I, I don't know why I submitted Alonzo Mourning, but I submitted Penny Hardaway just because I wanted a couple Penny Hardaway cards in sleeves. Frank Thomas, 1985 Kirby Puckett, Yager, Emmett Smith, Santa Claus. If you remember from the the pro set, Santa yep. Claus, Brett Favre, Dion. You get the point. Like these are so some Joe Montana, Jerry Rice. A lot of these are from the junk wax era. Some of them are like. Some of them are legit, though, like 1980, 1988 rookies. Like, that was a good set. Basketball rookies. Fleer. Do um, you have any cheaters some, uh, in there? There's no cheaters. Um, there's a Kobe rookie, tops rookie, and, and like five Kobe second year, 1997 tops. I mean, I, the, the, basically my point is that had these been – like modern or ultra modern cards, I'd be screwed because they'd all be like Ja Morant and Zion. And, you know, like, I guess Tatis or whatever, like, which I just think that those cards declined so much from when I submitted these, I submitted these. And the point is I submitted these, Um, I sent them to PSA on basically February 20th of 2021, which was like at the height of the market in terms of ultra modern stuff, as well as, as like modern and vintage stuff. But the, the, the good news is that like the berries and the Jordans and the magics, et cetera, and the Griffies always have the buyers, like the buyers on those guys, even though the prices have come down, the, the market hasn't gone away. And um, the bad news is, you know, this was in the, f- the flood of submissions that caused PSA to finally shut down. They didn't receive the submission. Like, they didn't receive this until two full months after I mailed it into them that they they marked it as arrived in their system. And then it didn't get to grading until January of 2022. Now we're recording this on Monday, May 2nd. So we are now essentially almost five months after they got into grading. They are still in grading. Now I'm starting to get frustrated. (laughs) I haven't been frustrated until now. Should I be frustrated? Um, I don't think so. Here's why. I, well, okay, let me, 
there is some level of frustration, but I think your level of frustration should be low. And let me tell you why I think you should feel like it's okay. You are, and you've said it yourself, you have no modern cards in the investment. So right now you don't need them back. And I just wonder if potentially PSA does this, you know, as a little bit of a marketing play, like for themselves knowing, Hey, we've got to get through these modern stuff a lot quicker because the modern stuff is going to be the play, the, the people that are going to yell the loudest about like, you know, this is how much money I lost because you screwed up, you know? And so like, for instance, in your portfolio, you submitted each card for $12 and those are cards that you got from when you were a kid and everything. You're not losing any money, Paul. Like you are going to gain a lot of equity grading, uh, uh, granted that some of those won't grade out well. You know, it's just because like when we were kids, we didn't get the best cards, you know, like, um, you know, we didn't know to look at, you know, centering and minting and all that kind of stuff before we were old enough to realize that. But yeah. You know, anyway, you, your cards are going to be great. And so like, if I can caution you at all about being really upset, like you were in a flood of people, but think about the people that submitted 178 Zion rookie cards, you know, like imagine that yeah. feeling. So, it, you know, it, it, at least you are know that your collection is not only safe, your collection is not only s secure, you're in the best grading system possible. And yeah, it's taking a little bit while, but you got a hell of a deal, you know, twelve dollars yeah. per slab. Like that is incredible. That may never happen again, you know. And so, um, yeah, I, I think, if, like, if, if, from me sitting in my seat, like, I'm like, how are you upset? Like, you just like <laughs> sure you're gonna have to wait, you know, a, a year, but like you just put a thousand dollars towards a potentially fifty thousand dollar investment on the back end. You know, like, uh, I mean, maybe not, but like, what I'm saying is like some of those yeah. cards could grade out to be very valuable. Well, it all depends on so, the grade. It all depends on the grade. I think on many of these cards, right? Like it could, it could be a $50,000 right. uh, profit. It depends on the grade of a lot of the Jordans and, and some of the 80. Well, I can guarantee you this. You're definitely going to go positive. I think so too, because I've got, and, and we've hit on this on earlier episodes, like I'm the spreadsheet master. So I've got the spreadsheet of the entire submission with what, you know, the grading cost, if I did have to pay anything to acquire the card, it's in there. So my total cost and, and then, uh, yeah, you can bet each one of these that I sell, uh, I'm going to put that in there and, and have the, the total profit margin at the end of it. And I'm going to share, share it all with the audience here whenever it does Actually, I think my only frustration, I am frustrated, but not that much. I'll be honest. Like, I'm pretty excited. I think my only frustration is that I haven't been able to do what I really want to do yet, which is just a lack of patience more than anything else. So I feel like I've been patient. When I see PSA send me emails to join the economy submission for $50, that's where my frustration comes in because I'm kind of like, that's when yeah, like, that's the, fair. it kicks in like can you grade can you grade my stuff first and get it back to me like i have not the i have not submitted another card to psa since they opened up the 50 dollar level partially because of logistical challenges but mainly because i just don't want to give a company more money before they can return what i'm essentially already on the hook to pay them for um, so, but no, I agree. I think I'm going to be, when, when I get the cards back, I think because they're at $12 a card, $12 grading fee per card, I don't think there's any way that like any of these cards goes for less than $12 unless it's like, unless I just missed and sent a really piece of crap card in to get graded and it got graded like a seven or, or a six or something. There might be a few of those, but I think out of the 178, my guess is that like at least 165 of them are going to be, are going to have, are going to, are going to be profitable. So I will keep um, the audience all, all posted on this. this. 
All I ask is that I have the opportunity to potentially buy a Griffey slab before you let everyone else do it. <laughs> you will have the first opportunity. I'm not sure how desirable right. my Griffey slabs will be to you because I know you're, you're, you already have a collection, but I will give you. I, will I give don't. You I don't have any Griffey slabs. Well, I have one that you might be interested in then, and um, we've never made a deal on the show before, but let me just bring this up real quick. <laughs> so this, get excited, everybody. This bad boy is our, our friend, Ken Griffey, George Kenneth Griffey Jr. Um, <laughs> 1989 Don Russ rated rookie hard mint nine auto 10. That's a, that's pretty nice. This is what my do you, best. Do you, do you have it listed right now? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it listed on eBay for like double its value. Buy it now or best offer <laughs> for quite some time. And there are some watchers, but no one that's uh that submitted an offer just yet. I think I've probably scared scared everybody away by the, the listing price. Yeah, yeah, that Anyone might be wants too to much check out, out. out. Might be too much out of my <laughs> my range. Shows on the feed, so we encourage you to subscribe. And if you need direction on how to subscribe, just go to sportscardstrategy.com, and there's quick links to subscribe to all of our shows right there and join the Facebook group. We'd love to see you join the Facebook group so we can connect with you, so we can understand uh, more about your sports card investing journey and, and help you out even more. And uh, check out the nooffseason.com sports card investment report. Save 20% by using the promo code nooffseason. And uh, we'd love you to check out marketmoversapp.com and get your first month for only $1 by using the promo code nooffseason. Everybody, thanks for listening and watching and have a great day.